Qatar, I saw the amount of migrant laborers around here, and I really felt that uh, this project would, is helpful to them to gain literacy, literacy skills so that they can um, go on and create a better career for themselves. More of what we did is we improved the curriculum by creating different levels of it. Um, so we had um, people who had never touched English before and we'd have people who had studied it for a couple of years already. Um, so we had a really a variety and so we wanted to make sure that there was curriculum that fit all of their needs. We are looking to use a vision system on a robot to inspect uh, gas pipes and the idea is that from these images we can see the interior surface of the pipe and we can also find three-dimensional information of the, the, the pipe wall thickness for example. We're looking to monitor how that changes over time and use that to identify points of corrosion in the pipe. So a small robot platform equipped with cameras and as it moves through we would log the images and then, and then process them to uh, produce the results. So my senior thesis project is about developing mobile phone games to help adults improve their English literacy skills. So the motivation for this project comes from the fact that English is one of the most commonly used languages in the world and what this means is that in Individuals with limited English skills have, like for example, immigrant laborers in Doha, have trouble communicating with supervisors and finding jobs suited to their skill sets. We are focusing on mobile phone based games because almost everybody has a mobile phone these days and also because games are an interesting and fun way to practice your English exercises. So you have a question and four options. If you select the right answer, you score a goal. You score the wrong answer, it says poorly try again. So one of the things we learned is that you have to use images so that um, we can teach English properly. You have to use exercises like fill in the blanks and sentence construction so that the grammar concepts are more solid. This is an iPod application game aimed in order to like uh, create awareness among children about diabetes. From the research, I found out that 40% of Qatari kids suffer from diabetes, and that's a very large number. So in order to grab this kid's attention, we need uh, an, an interesting way in order to grab their attention. So I came up with an iPod I slash iPhone application game, which is very interesting, fun, and educational at the same time. Onigiri is a Japanese language. Actually, it means rice ball, and I pick uh, I pick onigiri because it looks overweight, and you know it looks interesting and it's cute. I hope you saw what they did, and I hope that you greatly appreciated how much they've learned and how hard they've worked. A big part of what a university education is about is the transition from secondary school where there's a book, a teacher's edition with the answers in the back of the book, or where your teacher actually knows the answers, transitioning into the world of research, into the world of work where there isn't a teacher's edition, where your boss doesn't know the answer. If your boss knew the answer, your boss would have done it themselves. What you guys have just done is an enormous step toward solving real world problems, which is what we're all about. Thank you, and a final thank you to the organizers who put all the work into this. The best poster design is for dynamic path and traffic light coordination, Tessa Eng and Hin Gidawi from Computer Science. the best project in business administration. This one goes to a young man who graduates next week. It's post a quick Q2, Saad Almatri, family businesses in Qatar. <laughs> best prize for IS project is Q26. That doesn't mean much except to those who had it. Student track. Dua Dale, 
Yasser Khan, Maria Malsunedi, and Amna Al Hitni. The best project in class, or the best project overall. We've seen these ladies before. Poster Q9, Dynamic Path and Traffic Light Coordination, Tessa Ng and Hin Gidoe. Congratulations.